Okay, now we go to the example 3.3, which is the example 3.3a is on the general method. Remember, for um, solving the analysis on shaft friction in the sand condition, sand soil conditions, we are two method, general and also coil and castello. For A, I just want to uh, explain on the general method. Okay, so in these questions, uh, consider a 12 meter long concrete pile. There is our L with a 0 0.45 diameter, our D embedded in sand. Okay, given the unit weight, there is our unit weight. And then the effective earth pressure coefficient, there is our K naught. Okay, and then the soil pile friction angle, there is our delta prime which is delta prime is equal to 0 0.8 phi and soil friction angle means that there is our phi value equal to 35 degree and then the question asks you to estimate the pile skin friction the qs okay so before we proceed remember that we have like this one means that we have a pile here we embed the pile inside the soil and then the load distribution will be like this one okay remember okay so let's say there is our point of l prime so there is our l prime and then there is our l minus L prime okay so our L prime remember previous slide we have 15 D which is our 15 times to 0 0.5 equal to 6.75 meter then our pile line is 12 meter minus to 6.75 meter so it's equal to 5.25 meter means that this is the locations of the soil distribution active in your uh, soil strata okay so uh, the next one is you need to since the delta is given here the delta prime is equal to 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 times 2 our phi is 35 here so our value is 28 here okay and then the unknown value is p what is the p p is our parameter okay the parameter is pi d so our pi d is equal to um 1.41 meter square here Right, then another unknown uh, K naught is given 1.5. Okay, K naught is equal to 1.5, and then the delta is given here. Uh, the L is 12 meter. Okay, so in to determine the skin friction or shock resistance for this condition, you need to have one layer here and two layer here means that at a b and also the c here so in determining the sigma value for point a b and c we can use this method okay so at z is equal to zero meter our sigma is equal to zero and our f z is equal to zero meanwhile at z is equal to 6.75 meter this one is at the point of b our sigma prime naught is equal to gamma h which is our value is 19 times 2 our h is 6.75 for that value only Okay, so our sigma is equal to 128.25 kilonewton per meter square. 
Okay. And then in calculating the F value, the friction value, we can use the equation of K sigma not tangent delta prime. Okay, there is a F value. So, we can use 1.5 times to 128.25 times to tangent 28, which is our F for Z is equal to 102.29 kN per meter cube. Okay, the next one is at Z is equal to 12 meter. Okay, which is, we know that, as I mentioned before, for F is equal to Z, which is 12 meter, so F is equal to L. Okay, F equal to L, which is, uh, means that 12 meter for the whole uh, pile foundations is equal to <coughs> F at L prime. So, is equal to 102.29 kN per meter cube. Okay. Thus, so let me write here. Thus, our QS is equal to F average times to P times to L. Okay. So, here, FZ is equal to 0. Plus 2 FZ is equal to 6.75. It will be divided by 2. Since we need to get the um, the average. Times to the P times to the L prime. Okay, for layer 1. And remember, you need 2 plus 2 layer number 2. Which is FZ is equal to 12 meter. Times to P. And times to L minus to L prime for B to C. Okay, the layer for B to, to, to C. Okay, means that this one is for layer 2, layer 2. This is one for layer 1. Okay, so we can get here. Here is 0 plus 2, 102.29 divided by 2 times 2, our P is equal to 1.141 times 2, our L prime is equal to 6.75 plus 2. Okay, this should be soft first. FZ is equal to FL prime. 102.29 times to perimeter is 1.41 and times to L minus L prime is 5.7 uh, 5.25 okay so our value is we go back here yeah. okay 428 486.77 plus 752.20 and then our QS equal to 1243.97 kN or L plus unit 2, 1244 kN. Okay, this is the solution for general method in determining the shaft friction of file. Okay, the next example is in calculating the QS based on Kohl and Castello method or equation. The difference is in determining the F value, which is in determining the F value, this one is the K value can be calculated or can be determined using this graph. And also the sigma prime value is very simple calculations. We don't consider, we don't need to consider the L prime or the full L, okay, and the delta, we consider it as 0 0.83, okay, as mentioned in the previous slide. Okay, so the first step in this example is you need to determine the ratio of embedment ratio. L over D, which is 12 divided by 0 0.45 meter, is equal to 26.7. And then, the unknown is the delta prime, 
the delta prime is equal to 0 0.8 V is equal to 0 0.8 times to 35 degree is equal to 28 and our perimeter is equal to pi D which is the pi times 2 the D is 0 0.45 and the perimeter is equal to 1.41 meter square. Okay, after we get the ratio of L over D, we can determine the K value here. Okay, previously in general method, you get directly the value of K in the equations. But in this Coy and Castello equations, you need to determine by yourself using this graph. Okay, so our L over D is 26. It's around 27 here. Okay, let's say 27 here. And then 35 degree is in here. So we go with vertically upward. So our K is around here. So our K is around 1.5 value. Okay. Then, how to determine the unknown of sigma? The sigma is very simple. Okay, you know that you know that the sigma is equal to gamma h. Gamma h so divided by two is equal to nineteen times two twelve divided by two. We consider it in the center of the uh, pile pi line. Okay, so is our value is 114 kilonewton, kilonewton per meter square. Thus, our QS is equal to <coughs> K sigma prime.